Yes, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. And this morning for our morning devotion, we are going to look at a very interesting passage of scripture coming from Romans chapter 14. And we are going to look at verses 1 and 4. It says, No, accept the one who is weak in faith but not for the purpose of passing judgment on his opinions. Who are you to judge the servant of another? To his own master he stands or falls, and he will stand, for the Lord is able to make him stand. Let us have a word of prayer. Uh, thank you, dear Father, for waking us up again. Thank you for the time that you have allotted us to spend in your presence. May we be blessed even as we reflect upon uh, this important passage of scripture. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I'm going to look at the King James Version of the same passage of scripture taken from Romans chapter 14 and looking at verses 1 and 4. Him that is weak in the faith receive ye but not to doubtful disputation. Who art thou that judges another man, man's servant, to his own master, he standeth or falleth? Yea, he shall be holden up, for God is able to make him stand. You see, uh, prayer is powerful, or is a powerful tool. Uh, that God has given not only to help yourself through uh, this journey of life, but to help others as well. Unfortunately, uh, Jesus' disciples missed out on the opportunity for prayer for their master. But all God's children should learn from that important lesson in Gethsemane. The next time you see a brother in need, pray for him. And that's song advice. Open your heart and you will hear the silent cries from those who are depressed, fearful, insecure, or brokenhearted. Ask God for wisdom and discernment of how to be a help, not a hindrance. Remember that Jesus is the only healer of hearts and he alone has the answers. But if you are willing God will guide you to discern their need. People who are hurting need love, acceptance, and prayer that come from a humble heart. Not someone who has a self-righteous attitude that is trying to fix them. So ask God to remove any spirit of pride and replace it with an extra abundance of his love for others. And that should be within or the desire of each and every one of us. Not to be condemnated, not to be judgmental, but to put ourselves in other people's position, discerning that these individuals need your help. Merciful Father, God of love, thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your words. Thank you for telling us or showing us that we need to be more empathetic, more sympathetic, and more understanding of other people's uh, situation so that instead of condemning and judging we would want to exhibit help or exercise help in their regard we thank you for informing us thus in jesus precious name amen